Please uh, first let me uh, let me share now my uh, my screen to provide some information regard administrative information regarding the um, the uh, thematic open call. I prepare a presentation. Just first of all, reminding the evidence and the obvious. The following slides do not substitute the guide for applicants that has been made available as you. Uh, all can find it in the ATRAC website, and they are intended for highlighting a specific administrative aspects of it. Um, so um, I will uh, be relatively brief in order to leave room for any potential question that anyone may have. I um, encourage people to use the chat to formulate the questions, and then after projecting these slides, I will try to answer as many as I can um, <clears throat> in case that they have not been answered themselves by the guide for applicants itself and with these slides as well. So the attract phase two call is launched, as uh, you all might know. Um, it has been launched on June 20th, 2021. As informed during the attract kickoff meeting, it complies with uh, what the European Commission call text reflected in Horizon 2020 as the call which a track phase two has been granted that you can find uh, under the title InfraNOP 3 2020 co-innovation platform for research infrastructures technologies. Here you have just a reminder of the um, videos of the uh, kickoff uh, meeting that already took place. And the deadlines for receiving applications is September 20th, 2021 with no extension. I would like to emphasize this. There will be no extension um, uh, with respect to the deadline. The participation uh, in the call is open to all legal entities in the European Union or and or H2020 associated countries. So same as in any Horizon 2020 project. Just as a note, the EC has corroborated to the ATRAC consortium and coordinator that UK continues to be an eligible country and UK partners are entitled to receive funding through ATRAC. The participation is subjected to each legal entity having a validated participant identification code, PIC. This is the same that is required in any uh, Hora, um, European Commission funded project when you submit a proposal. And uh, if you don't have one, uh, we certainly encourage to, um, to check the link provided there. And you have to have a validated peak by the time if you are awarded uh, with the signature of the phase two third party contract agreement. The attract phase two call will accept proposals for the development of technologies to be used for peaceful purposes only. Project proposals shall be submitted as a joint proposal by a group of at least two independent legal entities, group of participants, okay? The same group of participants may not submit more than one project. And this links with the two modalities of funding that I will comment that they are also reflected, of course, in the guide for applicants. However, a legal entity might participate in more than one proposal across the themes and modalities of funding. Each group of participants is free to organize itself in a manner it deems appropriate. However, it shall in all cases designate and mandate a lead participant coordinator, if you want to call it like this, which shall be authorized by all participants to act in their name and on their behalf as regards the submission of the project proposal, the signature of the track phase two third party project agreement and all matters arising out of and relating to the track phase two third party project agreement. 
this lead participant shall have the authority to bind all participants and shall act as the sole intermediary between the other group of participants or consortium and the attract coordinator as established in the power of attorney to be completed and signed by each group of the participant members. The power of attorney must be included as an annex in the proposal at the time of its submission, meaning in the same PDF that you will need to be submitting. And the guide for applicants offers a potential template um, that you may use uh, in the case that you, um, that you are interested or, or it suits you. Project proposals by group of participants which do not meet the above participation criteria will not be evaluated. All project proposals shall use the attract phase two proposal template. The proposal template is facilitated uh, by uh, in the guide for applicants. So project proposals shall be a maximum of 20 A4 pages in length, not including the title page, the public summary, and the powers of attorney. Scientific or technical annexes are not allowed. The font type shall be Times New Roman with a minimum font size of 11. The page margin shall be 1.5 centimeters on all sides, and the line spacing shall be 1.5 lines. Projects which do not comply with the length, font size, and format condition will not be evaluated. So applicants are kindly required elaborating the proposal submission template following as strictly the indications. We will not facilitate a word template. Uh, regarding the submission modalities, there are two modalities uh, for submitting a proposal. There are four, two modalities of funding. Modality A, demonstrator, up to 500,000 euros. Proposals in this modality that are now at TRL 3 or higher and are capable of providing at the end of the project TRL 5 or 6, understood with the commission definition, TRL 5 technology module validated in relevant scientific and industrial environment, technology module demonstrated in scientific in relevant scientific and industrial environment, or modality B industrial system up to 2 million euros, and proposals in this modality, which are currently at TRL 3 or higher, and are capable of providing at the end of the project TRL 7 to 9 or even higher, uh, understood in the same definition that the Commission gives system prototype demonstration in a real case operational environment system complete and scientifically and industrially qualified or TRL9 actual system proven in operational environment. Especially applicants to the modality B industrial systems are required to describe in much more detail than in modality A, therefore a seen pathway to market. The resources dedicated to this, which must be complementary to the funding received from a track, as well as the estimated timeline for market. Project proposals may be submitted to any of the two modalities listed below, but not to both. You have to choose the modality that you submit, and this is clearly stated in the guide for applicants. Your modality should be highly visible. Project proposals and the powers of attorney, as I mentioned before, shall be submitted by the lead participant in one single PDF document exclusively through the ATTRACK website habilitated for this purpose. Again, the deadline for submission of the project proposals is September 20th, 2021, with no extension. And as uh, Michael and Sergio has stressed, please remember the spirit of the ATTRACK ecosystem. And I cite here what is written uh, and it's an important paragraph in any call theme uh, of this uh, thematic open call. Formation of consortia is encouraged seeking partnership with relevant projects funded in a track phase one, as well as with end users. The deliverables at the end of the project are expected to include an integrated prototype at, at TRL 6 or 7. 
meaning technology demonstrated in a relevant operational environment and clearly defined route to the market. <clears throat> As well, you might have noticed that Attract is launching other two calls, thematic open calls. One um, is called the Attract Phase Two Academy Call. is targeting design thinking based projects with interdisciplinary teams of master level students. Um, if maybe some of you remember that we um, um, organize a pilot uh, out of this in Attract Phase One. And many of you have collaborated integrating a team of master level students. The goal of these uh, teams of students that will be coming from different universities in Europe that again are also funded through this call is generating ideas for social innovation inspired by the technologies developed in the R&D and I funded projects, meaning in the projects that will be funded in a track phase two. So this time, as a difference with the um, uh, with the um, a track phase one, integration of student teams is not voluntary. It will be compulsory, and you may have noticed that one of the of your deliverables is exactly dealing with this. Attract is also launching another call, another thematic open call that has to do with a socioeconomic study uh, that um, will be undertaking by scholars awarded in the process of this open call with a grant to do this and will as well require your interaction with them facilitating um, data to elaborate this study this is a very important activity and it has to do and will have an enormous impact both the student um, um, activities and the socioeconomic study for the continuation of a track in the future. These are two specific points that the Commission is very much interested in determining what is the impact of the attract initiative with respect to young minds and young careers, information, and as well, uh, quantifying and qualifying the socioeconomic study, the socioeconomic impact of a track. So all of you, and this is what is mean, meant here with group of participants in both modalities are required to nominate a knowledgeable person responsible for liaising with the student teams and their tutors in the event of selection for funding, as well as with the scholars undertaking the socioeconomic study. Project proposals that comply with the administrative criteria will be evaluated by the independent r and &I committee uh, in accordance with the criteria and the scoring modalities set out in the attract grant, uh, guide for applicants. Depending on the number of proposals received, the IC reserves the right to request the proposal participants for an oral presentation as part of the evaluation procedure. And the IC may also uh, make recommendations to improve the content of the submitted proposals, as well as assessing the adequacy of the requested budget, recommending to the attract consortium the maximum and minimum funding for a proposal, according to the two modalities of participation, A or B. There's no need to say that there is no obligation to fund any of the uh, topics or the themes or sub themes if the proposals received, they are not complying with the minimum quality uh, on the judgment of the uh, attract uh, um, independent R&D and I committee. Each attract phase two uh, call lead participants of a group of participants will receive a notification by email from the project administrative office uh, of the result of the IC evaluation within three months of the attract phase to call submission deadline. The final list of funded proposals and the public executive summaries, including the names of the participants, will be made available on the attract phase two website following the signature 
of their respective attract phase two third party project agreements. By taking part in the attract phase two call, participants accept the outcome of the IC evaluation, including recommendation regarding the adjustment of selected proposals as final and binding. And this adjustment of selected proposals refers to the previous paragraph that I have commented. Evaluation results, including the ranking for funding, cannot be contested. And please note that the IC is not required to provide and successful applicants with feedback regarding the evaluation. Together with the notification of funding, the project administrative office will send to the lead participants of the group of participants the attract phase two third party project agreement. All of you or many of you are already familiar with such a document. The Attract Phase Two Third Party Project Agreement establishes the terms and conditions concerning the implementation of the project proposal by the respective group of participants. So these terms and conditions are non-negotiable and must be accepted at the time of the submission of the project. So when you submit, read it first carefully and is um, of the project proposal as part of the Attract Phase Two thematic open call. The lead participant meaning your coordinator shall sign the attract phase two third party project agreement on behalf of all the group of participants within 14 days calendar after its reception. So please again, read carefully the attract third party project agreement before submission. Project monitoring. So the project administrative office and the attract consortium partner leading the attract phase two work package monitoring in collaboration with the independent committee will ensure that the monitoring actions specified in the guide for applicants are taking throughout the project duration. Special attention from the funded projects is required for the mid and final evaluation of the project. Please consult the guide for applicant and especially the third party contract agreement in this respect. Deliverables in a track. This, just to remind everybody once again, the attract consortium does not own any intellectual property. The way you deal with the intellectual property management is up to an only business of yourselves. Of course, do you remember that we <clears throat> you are receiving funding from the program Horizon 2020 and the minimum rules that are established there. All funded projects are required to generate the following public deliverables. And I emphasize the word public. A final project summary in PDF format of maximum 2000 characters, including spaces. A poster and PowerPoint presentation format to be announced at least two months prior to the attract phase to final conference and a scientific journal type article summarizing the main project results and methodology used to achieve them. Many of you are already familiar with this type of deliverables. And last but not least, a brief report on the activities carried out with the student projects. So that is why I mentioned before that the involvement with teams of, master, of interdisciplinary master level students that will be part of the Attract Academy is compulsory in this Attract phase two. All funded projects are required to present the results uh, at the Attract phase two final conference in Brussels. Unfortunately, you know that in phase one, that was not possible uh, to do it face to face due to the COVID situation. Let's hope this time that there will be a big celebration in Brussels after uh, the finalization of the Attract Phase 2. And the dates will be announced well in advance by the Attract Consortium. In addition, projects are required to achieve the deliverables and milestones, of course, established in their proposals, against which they will be evaluated by the Independent Scientific Committee. And uh, of course, as usual, you know that we do our best always um, to disseminate further um, the results of your project through stories, through videos, et cetera, et cetera. 
So please don't forget, and we will be in contact with you thoroughly through the, the uh, Track Phase 2 project. That is also one of our objectives to make your project known to the rest of the world. And we will do the best efforts according to our possibilities. An orientating timeline. So we are in June 2021. A track phase two calls are launched, June 20th, 2021. We enter therefore the submission period that will end in September 20th with no extension. After the submission period, there will be an evaluation period by the Independent Scientific Committee, and uh, it will end by the beginning, by the end of uh, December, uh, in which you will receive a funding notification again. Then those projects that are funded, uh, they will proceed to sign the third party project agreement um, um, contract in a track phase two, and the projects will have a duration of 26 months, starting on the date of the signature of the third party project agreement. So this is the orientation calendar that's of the next steps that um, will be following. So thanks to uh, everyone. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.